Good morning, Johnson Learning Leopards! Today is Wednesday, January 25th. Please join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for the moment of silence on level zero. All right, everybody, happy Wednesday. Like I said yesterday, we don't have a ton of birthdays this week and there are no birthdays today, but we do have some responsible leopard leaders to share about. From Miss Branson's class, Elijah Ferguson is working hard to follow directions the first time, complete his work, and ask for help when he needs it. He watches out for his friends, takes care of our classroom items, and works hard during workshop time. Keep up the good work, Elijah. From Ms. Hartwell's class, Langston Taylor is trying hard to become a responsible kindergartner. He is working on following directions the first time, helping to clean up, and taking responsibility for his actions. Keep working hard, Langston. From Ms. Bigler's class, Shay Jennings is a responsible learning leopard. He is a leader in class. He follows directions, contributes to the classroom discussion, and stays on topic. He is also trustworthy and kind. From Ms. Bobbitt's class, Sincoria Bullock is a very responsible leopard leader. She works hard to follow directions, asks questions, and raises her hand. Keep it up, Sincoria. We are so happy to have you here with us at Johnson. From Ms. Arsenovic's class, Celeste O'Halloran is a responsible leopard leader. She works hard every day to be prepared for each part of the day. Celeste does her best every day to complete her independent work without help. Keep working hard, Celeste. From Ms. Hicks' class, Matthias Morris has been an awesome leopard leader. He has been responsible as he gives his best effort to complete his work and engage in class. We are all so proud of you and we cannot wait to see the ways you continue to roar, Matthias. And finally, for Ms. Crawley's class, Anna Hawkins has been a model of responsibility in our classroom. She makes sure to get all of her work done and is the leader of the classroom cleaning in the afternoons. Way to go, Anna, and great job to all of those leopard leaders. All right, please join me in reciting the Johnson Code of Conduct. As a Johnson learning leopard, I come to learn. I promise to roar by being respectful, open-minded, actively engaged and responsible. I will always try my best. All right, news you can use. Okay, so this is something that was totally new to me. I had to look it up. I've literally never heard this. It's called, and I'm going to do the best that I can to say this correctly, um, St. Dwinwin's Day. Okay, so St. Dwinwin's Day is like Valentine's Day, except in the country of Wales. So when I looked it up, here is what I found. So there was this young lady. Her name was Did Santes Dwinwin. She was one of 24 daughters born to a Welsh king in the 5th century. Legend has it that she was the most beautiful of the king's daughters, and so everybody in the neighboring countries wanted to marry her. Like all the other princes and whatever, they were like, ooh, we want to marry her. But Dwinwin fell in love with a local citizen, and his name was Malin Deodril. Um, when Malin found out that Dwinwin's father, the king, had already promised that she would ma marry this other prince guy, he stopped talking to Dwinwin, and then he got turned into a block of ice. <laughs> I know, you can't make this stuff up. Okay, so next part of the story. So Dwinwin, instead of marrying this dude that she doesn't even know, she runs into the forest and she makes these three wishes. The first thing that she wishes is that Malin, the guy that she loved, would thaw out, because remember, he was a block of ice. Um, she wishes that all true loves could be together. And then she also wished that she herself would never get married. So all of her wishes came true. And so she moved into a Welsh convent and became a nun. And as a result, she is Wales' patron saint of love. And so again, today is St. Dwinwin's Day. And I hope you learned something new. I certainly did. All right, our joke of the day today is from Charlotte Chancellor in Ms. Schaff's class. What is a cat's favorite part of its bedroom? What is a cat's favorite part of its bedroom? It's closet. Get it? Closet. Closet. Cats have claws. Ah! Yep. Get it? Okay. Awesome. Charlotte, thank you so much for sharing that with us. And you, all that is all I have for today. I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday and think about how you can roar today here at Johnson. We love you. Make it a wonderful day.